Next up for Mike is the Deerhound, and this being the only native Scottish hound, we just had to take a closer look. Alison Morton, we saw you winning the Hound Group at Midland Counties last year. We're with you again today at Kelso to find out a bit about the Deerhound. Um, now tell us a bit about the history of the breed. The, the name perhaps gives it away, but what was it bred for? Yes, it was a, it was a native Scottish breed, um, bred to hunt red deer on the, on the hills of Scotland. A sort of Scottish greyhound, if you like. Um, and what about the temperament? I don't think I've ever seen a deerhound look frustrated or anything. They're always relaxed and look quite gentle. They are as adults, yes, mm. until a deer gets up or some quarry gets up, <laughs> and then they're a totally different breed. Um, very, very naughty puppies. And if you can get them to adulthood without wanting to strangle them, they are the most wonderful <laughs> dogs. They're lovely temperament, get on very well with other animals. And they're, they're quite a big breed, so that suggests they need an, an awful lot of exercise. They'll take as much as you'll give them as adults, really. Mm. Um, they also can be quite lazy. They're, <laughs> quite, they're quite, quite happy to sit in front of a fire and watch the deli with you. Um, but no, they, they do like a good run every day. They are a galloping hound yeah. and they keep themselves fit and it keeps them sane as well if they can burst some energy out like that every yeah. day. Um, does that, of course, mean you need quite a lot of space to, to, to work a deer hound not to let them run around? Well, yeah, not necessarily to keep them, as long as you're prepared to take them. Um, we're very lucky in that we have two beaches very, very close to us. Um, yeah, they can get a good old gallop in the water as well, Fantastic. which they love. You mentioned the temperament is quite different as a puppy, but exercise as a puppy, is that quite different as well? Yes. <clears throat> You've got to be very, very careful with any of the, any of the big breeds, actually, um, who take a long time to grow, mm. joint security is always to the fore most actually when they're growing a um, little bit of free running in the garden no road walking until they're at least a year old and then right. very carefully and I re always reckon if you look after their joints when they're they're under sort of 14 15 months mm. you, you should be okay for the rest of their lives okay. um, and uh, deerhound's appearance it's quite a striking looking dog but it often mm. mistaken for an Irish wolfhound. Yes. How do you tell the two apart? The, the, the layman's way of doing it, when I'm talking to maybe a pet person who will mm. stop me, if, if you can imagine a hairy greyhound, mm. the, they, are, they are bigger and a little heavier bone, but the easiest way to remember is a hairy greyhound is like a deerhound and a hairy great dane is like an Irish wolfhound. Yeah. They've got that I've sort of build. That way, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's, that's sort of way. thing. And what about what the judge is looking for in, in a good deerhound? Looking, still looking for a dog which was, could do the job that it was bred to do. Yeah. Um, and the deerhound is actually one of these breeds which has not changed very much over the yeah. years. Um, it's only just recently that they've stopped coursing because obviously of the law yeah. in Britain now. They do some, some lure coursing now. But um, very famous, the world famous kennel, the Arkenglass kennel up in yeah. Argyll. Um, always hunted over Daver Moor and there's lots of lovely old archive pictures of, of lots of deer hounds hunting through the snow and people looking really bedraggled and cold but hunting through the snow up at Daver Moor. A bit like outside today. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Um, and they're not a particularly common breed but are they good to have around the home? Great pets, really get on well with people, um, they get on well with other animals unless they run very fast <laughs> and then they, they will give chase. They're not very common because not everybody has the facilities to keep a large hound like that. Yeah. What I've found in the deerhound breeders is it tends to be real breed enthusiasts who have the breed and they are actually still on the endangered list at the moment. Mm. Um, my one regret with deerhounds is that I didn't have them years ago. <laughs> um, I spent I've dogs for maybe nearly 35 years. Yeah. Um, my main breed, which I've shown all that time, were miniature wire haired dachshunds. Right. And I always had a sight hound or two around the house, but mm. I really regret not having them years ago. They're wonderful again. dogs. The kind of being a typical sight hound and sort of far gazing, mm. um, it, they do almost look into your soul. <laughs> but they, 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 they have that kind of look. They're just wonderful, wonderful dogs. Deer hounds were judged today by Mrs. Shirley Rawlings. 44 dogs gave 57 entries. Best of breed was a bitch, number 404.